This is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's talk about getting the most out of your Magic Mouse. So when the Magic Mouse first came out, all you could do with it is tap left, tap right, and scroll in several directions. But people like me have theorized that you should be able to write software that allows you to do all sorts of different things with the touch sensitive surface of the Magic Mouse. And sure enough, a few months later, now you can. There's all sorts of downloads that you can add to your Mac that will give you extra functionality with your Magic Mouse. Let's take a look at two of them. So the first one is called Magic Prefs, and it's a preference pane that you download and add to your Mac. It's free and it gives you all this extra functionality. Here's what the preference pane looks like. You've got several different tabs here. Clicks and taps, swipes, and drag and pinch. You can roll over each one and on the right it shows you a demonstration of what it means. So for instance, obviously this is a three finger click here. Here's a one finger tap left, four finger tap, things like that. Even the swipes it shows you with arrows exactly what it is it means by each of these. Then you can activate one of these and set its behavior to what it does. You can do all sorts of different things by default and you can also assign custom actions as well, say add an Apple script to it. It's some pretty powerful stuff with all sorts of different things that you can configure your Magic Mouse for. I can't believe Apple doesn't build something like this into its own Magic Mouse system prefs. I mean, it would demonstrate how this mouse could be completely superior to about any other mouse out on the market. The second one I want to show you is called J.I. Touch, and it was originally written for trackpads on the Mac, so it's been around for a bit, but now it's been adapted to work with the Magic Mouse as well. It is free to try and costs six bucks to license. Here's the system pane for the J.I. Touch. Go to the Magic Mouse tab, and you can see you've got a whole bunch of different actions here, and it shows you with a little animation, as you roll over, what each one really looks like. And scroll down, there's a whole bunch of different things. Plus, you can go and add your own like that. You can assign it to specific applications, which is very handy. Some of the things it includes here that I found useful right away were the ability to go to previous and next tabs, say in Safari, by using a hold on one part of the mouse and a tap on another part of the mouse. Now, I found both of these difficult to use if you assign a lot of different shortcuts. I mean, after all, there's very little indication for you to be able to remember what they mean. On a keyboard, with keyboard shortcuts, usually the letter indicates what you're doing. Command S for save, Command Q for quit. But tapping in two different places really doesn't map immediately in your brain to performing a certain action. So it's only very useful if you assign a handful of actions to some very commonly performed tasks and maybe only assign one additional one at a time and learn how to use it first. Now these aren't the only two extensions to OS X that will allow you to use the Magic Mouse in different ways. There's a whole bunch of other ones out there. You can search around for them and I'm sure there will be more popping up all the time. Hope you found this useful. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.